I think when you think of Pulisic, he, he comes across as a sort of guy that it's important for him to feel valued and for the manager, whoever it may be, that that manager has a plan for Pulisic that makes sense and, and one that Christian Pulisic can understand very clearly. So when he feels loved and the plan in front of him is something that makes sense to him, then his talent takes over. And there is no doubt that Christian Pulisic is a talented player. He just needs a little bit of love. He needs a little bit of tenderness. He needs somebody or a manager that truly believes in that skill set. And I think in some ways, uh, the experiences that he had at Chelsea have allowed or have forced Christian Pulisic to grow up, to mature, and to now find an appreciation for his current situation. And when you are appreciative as a player and you're talented and there is confidence by the manager and the players around you believe in you as well as a player, guess what? then you, you just allow that talent to flow, and we are seeing that from Christian Pulisic. Yeah, tell us more about it, Gab, how it's been for him so far at Milan. Well, look, I mean, Pulisic came in, and he played mostly down the left-hand side, uh, as you know, for the, for the U.S. And, and for Chelsea. And, you know, Milan were very straight up with him. They said, Christian, we want you here. We think you can contribute. You probably won't be playing left wing because the guy who's there, Rafael Leao, we think he's a lot better than you are. And in fact, he is. Uh, but Pulisic took it in stride. He says, OK, fine. I'll play on the right. Uh, I can play as a number 10. Uh, I'll fill in for Leao when he needs to. And you know that what you're going to get from me is you're going to get a lot of work ethic off the ball, which you don't always get from Leao. And uh, as we said, he's, he's the third option really up front. Uh, in terms of, of scoring, uh, you know, behind Leao and, and Olivier Giroud. And yet he's chipped in. I think he has, what, six goals this season, five assists. That's a really, really good return. Um, and, and he's shown so much adaptability. The fans like him. Uh, so, yeah, so far so good. I think his career is, is definitely re relaunched at uh, San Siro. OK, Gab, while we have got you here, then let's talk about what happened between Roma and Atalanta today. Away from the game, well, it was actually during the game, Dybala throwing a ball at another player. Uh, he had a penalty that made it 1-1. And also Jose Mourinho getting sent off again. Yeah, so um, Jose Mourinho, the, the, the first yellow uh, was, um, what was basically he was unhappy about a, a foul in the middle of the pitch. And you could clearly see what he said uh, to the referee. Um, he said, look, if you're not going to book him for that foul then uh, uh, then just book me. And so the referee <laughs> basically did. The second one was 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 laid on. Um, I think he was frustrated. You know, this was a game which Roma did not play badly at all. They, 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 they created chances. So did Atalanta. Roma have a ton of players out. This was a real chance to go get a big win under your belt, reopen that race for top four uh, ahead of, 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 of a huge game coming up, obviously, uh, against Lazio in the Coppa Italia.